Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a Brazilian dance by Jorge Morel called Danza Brasileira. We're going to look at the first section and this piece is really great for Latin guitarists, finger style guitarists who are looking to get into sort of Brazilian style guitar. It's not a heavy, difficult Brazilian piece like you might find people like Rafael Rabello or Garoto. This is really accessible Brazilian guitar repertoire. And Jorge Morel was a classical guitarist. He wrote a lot of guitar music influenced by Argentina and Brazil and other Latin American folk music. So this piece features kind of samba-like rhythms. It also has really interesting Latin jazz harmony and some really virtuosic arpeggios, which aren't actually that difficult, but when you learn how to do them properly, they sound really great. Lots to work through. We're gonna look at the musical and technical challenges coming up, so let's get stuck in. So to start with, we set up this uh, samba feel in the first four bars, and it sounds like this. It's important that you don't go too fast, uh, depending on how, how confident you are, but oftentimes you can get a piece like this, which sort of you set up the feel, and then later in the piece you sort of struggle to keep up. So I would really encourage you to just, just set the feel up in a pretty relaxed way to start with. And often, so what we're doing is an A minor six chord, Really common, almost bossa nova feel. I say it's closer to samba because it's quite fast. You know, if you're going to try and do it in a sort of Brazilian way, there's a lot of um, sort of staccato moments. There's a lot of feel there. With the bass notes on one and three, because they're open bass strings, you'll find that they do ring out a bit. So I would uh, try and just control them with your thumb. And I do that by when I play. I play the two notes and then when I go back to the A, I just touch it with the side of my thumb so it sort of stops the sound. Now bar five, we start this melody, which uh, it's, it's also quite syncopated. It's a really lively, fun melody and uh, Morel harmonizes it with an A, A minor 6 chord to start with, which you can roll like with your thumb, or I like to do a big roll like that. Then we've got this E7, then we move two frets down to this um, back to A minor 6. So we're going. Alright, then A minor 7 arpeggio. Then we go to a D minor 7. G and then C major 7. Okay, so we've got A minus 6, six E7, A minus 6, D, G, C, like that's, that's our 2 5 1, which we hear so often in jazz and Latin jazz. Then we start the melody again with these sort of anticipated chords that come on the 4 and. This time we do an A minor, resolving to a D sharp, and then we go to our B half diminished. So, B half diminished, E, and then back to the minor. So then we finish off with a 2-5-1 in A minor. So the first time is 2-5-1 in C, and the second time, sort of that dark, lower range voicing of the A minor. Okay. Then we're going to repeat that, but we've got two chords that take us back, back to D, B half diminished, and then this beautiful chord, very, very dissonant, and I would classify that as a an E7 sharp 11, uh, with the voicing more of a sharp 4 really, um, really just acts as a, bar, as a passing chord. So we go... Um, so pretty interesting harmony there. It's important that you get the right rhythm with uh, these note, these this chord and this note on the on the beat. And then we set it up for a repeat. This time we roll it with the roll to C major seven. And we do an E7, back to A minor. Back to a D half diminish, E. Okay, now we're up to the arpeggios. 
And I like to do these arpeggios uh, in A minor, starting with A minor on the fifth position. So this is our A minor bar chord, and then we go to our A minor in eighth position. And series of three, they're not triplets, but it's groups of three. So we're gonna go, so rest on the first beat and come in on the and one. Okay, and then we're gonna to go to this A minor pattern and then, so it's mm. And then I like to do a pull off here to come back and then AMI, 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 P. Okay, so let's do that again. Now the way in which you finger that with your right hand, going upwards, I go PIM, and then going backwards I do AMI. That's just the way I prefer to do it. Now we're up to the descending arpeggio. So this is kind of a little bit of an Andalusian cadence about it. So it's kind of got A minor, the open E and B, so it kind of, it's sort of an open. It's got a lot of open strings, which sort of creates a bit of an open dissonance, but it's still kind of a descending A minor G, F, E. And then here we're going sort of an E arpeggio, F, D sharp, E. Now I was sort of thinking, why does that sound kind of work? because it's sort of like an F7. So it's like going E, F, E, which is the flat six, going like. And in the original score, it's got like fortissimo, so it's kind of a really big moment. And then we're going back to the. I hope you enjoy learning this piece and let me know if you've got any further questions. Just chuck them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and consider subscribing to get more pieces like this. We also cover a lot of Latin jazz, Latin American guitar, and also Spanish flamenco. So I'll see you next video. Thanks guys.